I'm Jill Floyd. Hi, I'm Steve Cole. I'm Krista Sullivan. And today we're going to be talking about Deb's House. Steve, you set us up for that show, so why don't you just let us know how that went. Alright, first off, we received a phone call from a Deb, can't say her last name for privacy reasons, and she was waking up in the middle of the night with apparitions and uh, basically a lot of noise rustling in the house. And she gave us a phone call. And we went down and had to sit down and talk about what, what her concerns were and what we could do for her. And she just opted that we came in and did an investigation and try to solve issues or what we could do. So we all chose to go in there and do an investigation. And we ended up getting a lot of stuff. We had some orbs, we had some voices from our spirit boxes, some EVP recordings. So we're going to talk about that here in just a little bit. We have two EVPs that we got while we were at Deb's house. and. We had a what do you want and a hello. Those were actually captured on Steve's EVP recorder. Where were you and what happened when you got those? Well, the what do you want EVP was when we were upstairs, within four minutes of starting the investigation, I mean, we had stuff left and right that we were actually experiencing. And if we went through the evidence and stuff, then we found that there was an EVP saying, what do you want, when we were basically just asking questions in the bedroom, which is where she has all of our occurrences. And what some of the things that you didn't see was, and related to that, what do you want EVP is, within minutes of setting up our cameras and you know night visions and lights, I was basically assaulted with books, pamphlets, magazines, was physically thrown at me in the back of my head and upper back, really hard. And it, you know, it threw me forward, and I just we tried to debunk it. I was nowhere near any of the cabinets, the bookshelf, or even near the bed, so I couldn't have bumped something. And that EVP must be in result to questions or, you know, talking to whatever entity was in that room at that time. Um, and we actually got that on film, <laughs> part of it. We part, have, we the, have the audio, yeah. which we will play for you, and also the audio, or the video clip of the aftermath when we came up there, which we just discovered some new video footage of an orb coming out from that shelf where everything fell off shortly as Steve's describing what was going on. So why don't we take a look at those clips of that and also the EVPs. recorder, Deb's bedroom, and we're, we're going to just double up on this room. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here now. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys! What's that? You guys, stuff just flew across the room up here! What? Turn the light back on! What happened? Dude, we were just standing right here talking, and all this stuff just came... It's a polka dot on the wall. What? What happened? Dude, we were just standing right here talking, and all this stuff just came flying off the wall. This was, that was something, man. I don't like Anything. Right. And I was already over there, and because this stuff I, just flew. I know this stuff. You should have this one running static in here. I don't think it turned on yet. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on. Of course, we missed Same as yours. Stuff. All right, I think it knows that we're here. We should go. Let's go dark. There's just too much happening. Right. And I was already over there, and because this stuff I, just. Flew. I know this fell on me. Right. And I was already over there, and because this stuff I, just. Flew. I know this fell on me. All right, another little uh, tip that we have for you guys. Um, usually on investigations, we personally as a group do not have equipment die. And, you know, a lot of the big name ghost hunter groups have equipment die due to batteries or not checking their batteries or what have you. But 
We do install new batteries every time. We do check every single EVP machine, EMF meter, and our camcorder batteries. We have multiple charged ready to go. And in this particular instance, we were in the way in the back of the basement where the cold spot and stuff had happened. And, you know, I was using my mel meter. The mel meter just beep off, completely off. Everything was full. So how that happened, I don't know. I mean, I was not bumping the buttons. We tried to debunk it. And I was just holding in my hand loosely. Maybe five minutes go by, and it powered itself back on. Never happened before. I've never even heard of another group having an instance like that. So it was just a little tidbit of, hmm, maybe, you know, you should pay attention to what I'm doing to your equipment. Just That's what I thought. And we did have a lot of equipment failure on and off, especially with your stuff throughout that night. Things dying and working and dying and working. Even our camcorder kind of did the little zzz, zzz yep. just before that uh, light came on. Yeah. So that was just kind of a little another weird anomaly. But they believe sometimes the spirits take the energies from the batteries or the camera or whatever equipment you're using just to manifest themselves or use the energy for themselves. So let me take a look at some of that clips that had happened there. That one. What was that? It just shut off. What do you have that shut off? Uh, the millimeter? Oh. Here, let me bring mine in there. Dude, there's apps. Dude, there's, these are all brand new batteries. There's no way this just died. Holy <laughs> Dead. That doesn't work. Is that taking some water? All right, now we're going to discuss a little. Uh, me and Chris were down in her basement, and. Granted, there's you know there's always a five to ten degree plus and minus of coolness because you are in a basement, and we took that into no you know on the millimeter we did have our temperature readings and stuff, and all of a sudden towards the one end of her hall there was a very significant increase or decrease in temperature, and Krista was filming, and I just said Krista come on over here I am getting some actual readings we're getting some EMF fluctuations you should come over and take a look at this and we both felt this cold area in the basement and all of a sudden right then out of nowhere I got a huge spike in my EMF meter on the millimeter and it felt like an electric hug and I did quote that in the clip and can you add to that? Um, yeah I know in that same area you know earlier that I could feel a really cold spot too in this particular time the energy just went through him and he you could just see it with looking at him that he was you know yeah, you something know, something like was going through. coming through. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so that's real fun to watch. So um, we'll show you that clip now. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's it cold. is cold. It's cold right here. It's cold. It's cold. Are you sapping energy? It's dropping the breeze. Come on, talk to us. You need to answer some of our questions. We're sick of you scaring Deb. It's just dropping two degrees. It's still dropping. Come on. Come on. Come on back out. Oh, I got the chills. I got the chills. 12.8. Did you just see that? I got the chills and I got a 12.8. All at the same time. Who is... Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> Messing with you. Do it some more. Show yourself. Stand next to Steve. Did you catch the, the, the meter though? 5.5. Are you... <laughs> you're a child or an adult it's like somebody gave me a great big bear hug is what it felt like of electricity and it went up to 12.8 and I was standing there earlier the same kind of thing happened to me uh, temperature is 666 and it just stopped are you trying to tell us something Can you rock that chair? Can you make that chair move? Yeah, come on. It's a rocking chair. chair. Show us 
that you're here. Make something move! It was a bear hug of electricity. <laughs> and it just. Wow. All right, and while we were there, the camera light unexplainedly came on. Chris and I were um, coming in to work with the Ovulus, and it happened to say light um, was the last thing. This was Actually, in you, the were, you were there as well. You yeah, this was in her bedroom where all of the, the stuff right. was going on. And it was not, it was the actual camcorder, normal light you know, the intensity of light that actually was switched on, not the infrared, because, you know, when you're ghost sighting, everything's in infrared or full spectrum. This was the actual camcorder's independent light that was switched on. Yeah, and we were there with the ovulus. It said light. Uh, the light happened to come on. Nobody was near it. Um, Steve had left the room at the second it had gone off, called him back, and he checked it out. So why don't we take a look at that clip as well? We know you're in here all the time. What do you want to say? This is your chance. Talk to us. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what's going on here. Why'd that light just come on, Stevie? Light. Your camera just Your came camera on. Your camera light just came on. Yeah, that probably doesn't happen. Uh, no. no it's Would on. you come here for a minute, please? <laughs> and that's what's going on here. Why'd that light just come on, Stevie? What light? Your camera just Your came camera on. Your camera light just came on. Hey guys. Yeah, it's off. That thing went on all by itself, guys. All by itself. Is it really? Yep. I thought you were recording. It is recording. Oh. The button. The, the, bu <laughs> the button. The button. Yes, you turned on the light. Yeah. See? So we did get a lot of orbs while we were there, too, and we will show you those following clips in just a bit. Um, we got quite a few in Deb's bedroom, and they moved along kind of creepy, kind of slow, kind of came from out of nowhere. Um, also, when we were down doing our spirit box session in the basement, you also noticed some orbs that were flying behind Krista and I's head as that was going on as well. So we did catch several orbs throughout the home and a few photos that are very, very faint, but we will take a look at those clips right now for you.
Why Where is Oh my There's too much weird stuff. I hope you said something. Another very interesting anomaly happened when Krista was filming during these few times in that actual back bedroom. I was looking behind her, and I thought there was somebody standing behind her at the end, peeking around one of the corners for the stairways. I just said, you know, hey Krista, is there somebody behind you? It, just, it looked like a face was peeking around a corner at us, and I got up and I started running towards it. And when I got there, nothing. There was no EMF fluctuations, no cold, no nothing, no electrical ch charge or jolt. And it just, as soon as I saw it, I went looking for it, it was gone. I mean, did I catch it on tape? No. But it looked like there was actually a physical white person standing behind the corner peeking out at us. It was a very interesting thing. I've never seen it before in an investigation. All right, we'll show you that clip right now. What do you want? That's not our equipment. There's something right behind you. There was something right behind you. What the hell was that? It was a f***ing air. Did you hear that? I heard the, the noise, and I'm looking in the room. I look behind you, and there's a something? face. Right over here. No, there was a white man's face right here. Who is here? I just saw you. It was right here. Are you sure you didn't see that big polka dot? No, we're no, looking out. It was direction. right here, peeking out around this corner at us. It was just like this. Talking. Yes, he's talking. Where are you? I just rounded this corner. I'm just checking the fields and stuff. There was a huge orb right here. It looked at it like it was like stood right here and then it shot in there. That was cool. I mean it was like just hiding out, just hovering right here. Just boom, there it was. I'm gonna go in here and <clears throat> just take some photos. It's like a big oh. ball. We used a spare box at Deb's house, and we were in sitting in her daughter's room, right? Daughter's bedroom. And on her bed, in the basement. Asking questions, and um, when we watched the video, all of a sudden some orbs were flying around us. And, and you saw it on filming because you And I was, I was filming at the same and time, and she was talking, and so I could see the orbs going around as we were asking questions, which is kind of a neat thing. Um, did, what were they saying? We, yeah, we did get a lot with the little kids. At first, we hear like a Mark and an Ellen, which I personally, just from my experience, think that that would be the parents' names, but research we have to do on the house yet. Um, we also got the voice of a little kid saying, I'm six, 
And I also believe when you see the orbs, which is hard for us to extrapolate, but I feel that I'm hearing a six, eight, and a 10-year-old that is in that home. Uh, very hard for us to show that to you, but if you listen close, you can probably hear that. But let's take a look at our spirit box session as we got a lot of interaction with the kids. understand what it is and why we use what we use. So now it's time for a little segment we'd like to call Paranormal Tools. Hi, today's Paranormal Tool is the Digital Voice Recorder. It's used to capture EVPs, Electronic Voice Phenomenon, or also known as Spirit Voices. We do own about 15 of these and we do place them throughout the home that we're investigating. You just never know what you're going to get. We also carry all have a personal one on us at all times. It's believed that spirits uh, talk in a higher or lower frequency than we can hear. So what the digital voice recorder does is able to capture those sounds and we're able to hear them on playback. It's a very essential piece of equipment that we do use a lot of. We can use um, just the built-in microphone that is on here already, or we do have little small external mics that we can plug in as well to help enhance with the sound. Uh, we also do have here is a parabolic microphone, and this helps amplify the sound so we're able to capture those small whispers. Right now, what we'd like to do is share our very first EVP that we had caught. This was an apartment that we had investigated that had recordings of a little girl and an older woman at their apartment. We were having a lot of interaction, a lot of contact with this girl. Our machine started dying down. We couldn't find her. So we were asking, where are you? Where did you go? And you will hear her respond, I'm over here. And then you hear an older woman, we think is the older woman because the voice is a lot lower. You'll hear like a ha, ha, ha. And then you'll hear the little girl taunt and tease us and say, neener, neener, neener. So it's a really great Class A EVP, and we'd like to share that with you now. So let's take a listen. Yeah. <laughs> 
all about. That's what we're here for. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for today's show. Thanks.